Good evening, and welcome to Authentic Caregiving. I'd like to read just a short paragraph out of my book, Unable to Resist, when you're suddenly a caregiver and it's really not your gift. And it will be released uh, this fall. Her voice was strong, happy, uplifting, encouraging, and able to tackle anything. I first remember my mom's voice when I was a let me do it, busy three-year-old. Her voice was confident and certain, and she was wanting to be fair with me. She was expecting obedience the first time she asked. At 13, year old, 13 years old, mom's voice was quietly pleading with me for a closer relationship. But by then, I was like a stiff piece of leather. My heart wanted to chew small holes into the leather, leather so I was reachable, but I didn't know how. I often was doing the thing I didn't want to, acting the way I didn't want to, and speaking the way I didn't want to. Everything felt foreign to me. My mom's voice was constant. She was strong, resilient, and not one to be shoved to and fro. At 44 years old, in the winter of her 85th year, her voice was music tickling my ears. Her tones were kind, appreciating, and relying on me. Unbelievably, I centered my days on hearing her voice, what she was thinking, needing, experiencing, and creating new ways to communicate with her. At 55 years old, I heard her voice mostly in her eyes, without words. Love permeated everything between us during her 96th year. She speaketh not, and yet there lies a conversation in her eyes. It was calligraphied above her headboard for me and visitors to remember. Seven words describe my mom's essence. Walking with God, loving, fun, fearless, servant. Walking with God, loving, fun, fearless, servant. Which quality, which quality intrigues you the most? Walking with God, loving, fun, fearless, servant. Which one speaks to you? And how could you apply that to your life this week? Thanks for watching. Click like after the video if you would. Thank you. See you next time.